Okay, Japanese tool fans, what we have here is the Engineer brand Nejisaurus GT Drive handle. Ergonomic ball grip, reduced radius for fast spin, and we've got this more oval shape for high torque. We have a striking cap, we have a bolster. I cannot find any indication on the tool or on the documentation that this is made in Japan. The striking cap is solid metal all the way through to the bolster. That is rather unique for a bit holder. Typically, bit holders like this do not have a striking cap. The 33 millimeter deep hex receiver creates some minor fitment issues. When the cap is struck, it does not spin the bolster or the bit. Japanese vessel brand Impacta rotates the bit when it is struck on the cap. The Engineer brand Nejisaurus GT Drive is more like a standard strike cap. The bolster is 13 millimeters. Engineer has a specific series of bits for this bit holder the DBZ-20 and the DBZ-21 set, which I do not have. I believe that these two sets are designed for striking. These two examples of engineer screw extractors that I have are not intended for striking. For downforce only, not for striking. This tool along with these bits are designed for something very stripped out like this where you may need to strike the tool. The two examples here that I have, the DBZ57 and the DBZ58, are not intended to be struck. They would be more for a medium stripped out screw such as this. However, this is a size two and I only have a size zero and a size one. Bits like this fit in here very well and there's no wobble. However, it does not seem to be designed specifically to engage the detent. I don't feel anything grab this detent. It's just friction. This is designed to retain bits that have a straight shank and no detent. And it does that with a lot of friction. Because of the 33 millimeter depth, there is very little bit wobble at all. The receiver feels flat on the bottom. That means that a double-ended bit, if it's struck, you could end up damaging or flatting this tip. If you're gonna strike the cap, don't put double-ended bits in, just so that you can see what a shorter bit looks like in here. You don't want to use this in here. It's too deep for these Vessel brand plastic spring bits. Okay, okay, this Annex 100 bit holder is in here very securely, no bit wobble. So because this wrap adapter is less than 33 millimeters in length, it is resting against this ring. So there's a lot of pressure against that wrap adapter ring, because this isn't bottomed out in here. So this is probably not a good idea in here. Festool Centrotech falls right out. This quarter socket adapter is not long enough to engage any of the bit retention in there, and it falls right out. You're gonna need an adapter that is longer, such as this PV Swiss, which is not long enough to bottom out, so it's resting on this. But I don't imagine you would be using the striking cap with a socket on it, so this should be fine. For these types of bits that aren't intended for striking, there's probably better options than the GT Drive, such as the Philo Smart Handle. The Philo Smart Handle gives you the ability to give a lot of downforce and torque. And of course, the Vera 416 RA is an excellent option for this kind of a bit. Okay, let's do some torque tests with the Pro Chi Torque measuring adapter. Ah, 
I can pretty easily, comfortably do five Newton meters. Six Newton meters gets a little difficult with the Philo smart handle. Yeah, five Newton meters, again, feels good. Whereas six Newton meters with the T-handle is very easy. And six Newton meters with the Vera is also very easy to do. So for torque, I think it's about the same as you would expect from any driver handle or bit holder. Uh, this one, of course, has the advantage of the striking cap. The Engineer Bazooka DBZ58 is a size zero, and that comes with this little rubber handle. Two semi-stripped out screws here and here on this laptop and of course I do not need a striking cap on this but these bazooka bits are made for these scenarios and they do actually work quite well so is the bazooka bit better than the PB Swiss this PB Swiss seems to work just as well for removing and driving a partially stripped screw. And here is a number one vessel. I would say that works just as well. So on these partially stripped laptop screws, the PB Swiss and the vessel are working just as well as the engineer bazooka. So we did not see much of an advantage of these bazooka bits over two good examples of screwdrivers by Vessel and PB Swiss. And we did not see much of an advantage on applying torque over other options such as the Philo Smart Handle and a T-Handle. So the main advantage of the Engineer GT Drive is the bolster and the striking cap which is best used with the intended bits, the DBZ-20 and the DBZ-21s, which I do not have. My applications are gonna be more suited for these bazooka bits, computers, electronics, RC hobbies, and then for larger stripped out fasteners, I chose these vessel extraction tools, which can be used in a power tool. I have to admit that the reason that I ended up with this is because I just thought it looks cool. I love the Japanese for this kind of aesthetic design. It's very unique. And now I have a bit holder that has a striking cap and a bolster. I hope you found that interesting and thank you for watching.